What's up everyone? I am Scott Utz. We are out here walking the house in Corona, California. This house right here. Um, the house has got a pretty big foundation issue, so we got a foundation guy inside right now doing some inspections. Uh, we're doing that to go above and beyond for our buyers. So number one, so they can't come back to us and tell us it's $100,000 when it's really 30. Um, but also we know how bad it actually is. So we don't know if the hillside here is sliding, uh, the house is coming down this way, or if there's just an issue that's a quick fix. So uh, inside of the house is uh, part hoarder-ish. So we're gonna go walk through. I'm gonna show you guys what to look for uh, to determine that there's a foundation issue in the house. So come on in, we'll take a look. All right, let's walk inside. We've got an old motorhome over here. <clears throat> and behind Lindsay over here, we got an old car. So sometimes these things come with these properties. So you gotta make sure you get the title so you guys can go ahead and get those sold or get them trashed out. So there's lots up on a hill. So definitely gotta watch for foundation stuff, which this one has that big foundation issue. Uh, there's a garage right here, which is kind of nice. Let's go inside. So for first look in here, if you go ahead and take a look over here on the ground. So the cracks, they're pretty big. You can see the difference by my iPhone. So the cracks run all throughout the garage here on the floor. So definitely something to pay attention to. The whole house is basically leaning this way. So as we walk around inside, you can actually feel it. Um, good stuff, there's a good water heater right there it looks like, pretty new. But a lot of stuff in here, all this stuff will be cleared out. And then flatten it out and put down anything. Same thing in the kitchen right here. See that crack there? Um, kitchen, definitely needs a bit of a remodel in here. Cabinets are old, so probably gut the whole thing out. Probably throw some new windows in here. All right, let me take a look out here. Definitely a lot of stuff left behind, but if we look over here on the wall, you can see right over there the crack, and then if you come over this way, you can see it right there above the door. And as we're walking through here, the whole place is pretty much sloped down this way. Um, and then as we walk back down the hallway here, it's sloped back down this way. So it's actually got a couple different slopes in it. Watch your step. So there actually is electricity in this house. A lot of houses you walk through don't have it, but there's not very many lights or the bulbs are burnt out. So in this room here, you can see up here in the corner, see how it's separating. And then if you go over here, you can see all along that wall there. So you can actually kind of see by the door frame here, it's all just sloped downwards. So nice little carpet here. It's like shag, cobwebs literally everywhere. And then if you take a peek into this room, we can't even walk in there. There's so much stuff in there. The master bedroom, not a bad master. Not a lot of issues in here. Just uh, needs to get a bit of a remodel. <clears throat> and there's a bathroom back in here if you want to take a peek in there. It's definitely loaded up with a bunch of shit. So these houses that are loaded up with stuff are the best ones to buy. So bring in a dumpster, take it all out. And here, the hallway bathroom. This house has been vacant for a while. It was the guy's mom that was in here. Uh, they really didn't know how bad the house was getting. She didn't really tell them. So it was a surprise for them to see just how bad it actually was. So it's just, I mean, ultimately it's just an aged house. Um, needs a lot of work. The patio out here, you can see it's just completely full of stuff. But I mean, the layer of dust on everything, 
it's thick. Um, this house is probably gonna need new HVAC in here. It's probably gonna need air conditioning, lights. Uh, I mean, the electric works, uh, but it depends on the outlets. If we can find one somewhere, let's see, right here. So that is a three prong outlet, so it does have the ground. So you wanna look for the ones that don't have the ground and just have the two prongs just like that. Um, now, just because there's an outlet for ground, it could mean they replace the plug, but it may not be grounded. So um, that might mean the electric needs to be replaced if it's not a grounded outlet. So, but I mean, a lot of stuff going on in this house. See so the water, water's not on, but uh, this house needs a lot of work. I mean, this could very easily be $70,000 job in here, um, depending on the foundation. It could very well cross 100,000 if the foundation's that bad. So I uh, hope you guys like the walkthrough. We're gonna try to do some more of these. We're gonna do a drive for dollars video here pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, The Scott Oots, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.